hello everyone and welcome to my channel ghilu so in this video i'll be discussing two questions question number six and seven of miscellaneous exercise of determinants so without any further delay let's get started question number six says that uh, we need to prove this one there are many methods by which we can prove I'll be following one method which uh, seem to be much simpler and shorter to me. Now, what I will do is I'll be taking A, B and C common from column 1, column 2 and column 3 respectively. All right. So. So we get delta is equal to A, B, C. Now taking A from column 1, we get A, A plus B, B. From here, if we take B out, we get C, B, B plus C. And here taking C out, we get A plus C, A and C. Alright, now uh, it, it becomes very solvable. At least we can see that. So we turn C1 to C1 minus C2. And C2 to C2 minus C3. And hence it becomes minus B. So I hope you have no doubt in this. Now what I'll do is I will transform R1 to R1 plus R3 and hence I'll be getting 0 2C 2C A minus C A minus C B B plus C C Alright now let me take 2C out of first row because that is what seems very easy. This is C alright. So we take 2c from first row we get here abc times 2c times this determinant which is 0 1 1 a minus c a minus c b b plus c c all right now it becomes very solvable uh, now we just make it zero so that it is in its simplest form so we do C2 to C2 minus C3 and that will be giving us this is already 2ABC square and this will be 0, 0, 1, A minus A, A minus C, B, B, C. Now uh, we got nothing to do except expanding it. So expanding we will be getting 2ABC square, expanding it by row 1 so we will be getting 1 times AB plus AB. So it is 2abc square times 2ab that is equal to 4a square b square c square that is equal to rhs proved. So I hope you have no doubt in this. This is the shortest method that I have found to solve this question. Now, coming to the next question. We have question number 7 as uh, a inverse and b. We are given a inverse and b and we need to find ab whole inverse. Now. Uh, you know that a b whole inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse I have discussed this in a previous video I have a inverse so I need to find just b inverse and multiply it with a inverse so let's do it here b given all right so therefore determinant of b is equal to 1 times 3 minus 2 times minus 1 that is equal to 3 plus 2 minus 4 that is equal to 1 now I am going to write the cofactor of this you can tell you it yourself if it is correct then proceed for the next step therefore adjoint of B is equal to 3 2 6 1 1 2 2 2 5 you know that adjoint is the transpose of cofactor matrix now so we have b inverse is equal to 1 by determinant of b times adjoint of b but you know that determinant of b is 1 so b inverse is equal to adjoint of b now we have b inverse we are told to find a b inverse now since a b inverse is equal to b inverse times a inverse so that is equal to b inverse we have a inverse we know all 
just multiply the two matrices and in a very easy way you will be getting 9 minus 3 5 minus 2 1 0 1 0 2 so this is going to be the answer i hope you have no doubt in this this is a short video and in the next video i'll be continuing from question number eight thank you for watching this video